Over the years I've been asked quite a few times to do a lesson on death metal guitar techniques so here they are, I hope you enjoy the video. I'm using a Victory Kraken amp for all guitar tones and my Yamaha Revstar RSP20CR for the guitars other than my PRS for the one where I needed a trem. I'm using various tunings throughout the video just to try and make the riffs sound a bit more authentic. I hope you enjoy it, make sure you give it a like Make sure you subscribe. See you later. So the first technique we should probably discuss is palm muting. So palm muting is simply taking your palm, so the karate chop area on your palm, placing it on the bridge to mute the strings. So that's unmuted. And that is muted and you want to place your palm just where the string connects with the saddle on your bridge. If you have it back too far, then it rings out too much. If you have it too forward, it can change the pitch and it doesn't sound percussive, it just sounds a bit dead. So you need to practice placing it in the right place. so that you get that percussive sound. So the next technique is silence. So that's a riff by Obituary, Chopped in Half is the song. And you'll notice that we've got some silence in there in between the chugging and the played notes. That allows space for the drums to come in and it allows space for the vocals to play and it allows space to build tension. So don't be afraid to put some dead space in your riffs or your songs. So next example is melody. Don't be afraid to use melody. So here's an example. So that is Carcass. Corporeal jigsaw quandary. So we've got open bottom string, seven six on the A string, seven of the bottom string, four five seven on the A, back to four of the A, five of the bottom string, and then power chord on three of the bottom string to open of the bottom string. Okay, so that's a nice melody, but it's still heavy. So next up is harmony. So here's an example of a song that has some harmony in it. So this is a bolt thrower song, Unleashed Upon Mankind. So I've put that into my looper. Now we'll have a listen to that with the harmony on top. So I do have other videos that explain harmony used in metal and I'll put a link to that in the description. <laughs> But the harmony there was simply a fifth. So we had. That's what one guitar was playing. So if you just play that as a power chord. The higher note in that power chord, which is the fifth of that. Is the harmony. So that's the harmony used there. As I say, I'll put a link in the description which will give you other harmony techniques or harmonizing techniques. So I won't go into too much detail here, but
but that is another technique. So while we're playing that riff, it brings me to another technique, which is divergence and convergence. So that's when two guitars start off playing the same thing, then they move apart so that they're playing a harmony or different sections, and then they come back together. So you'll notice on this riff, they both finish on this power chord on the third fret of the bottom string, because the other guitar is playing. Okay, so the guitars are moving apart and then coming back together. And then what they do in the next riff, they both play the same thing. And then they diverge again, so one guitar will play. Just leaving that open chord ringing while the other guitar plays the riff. So again, the guitars are separate. Then they'll come in and play the harmonies. But they'll finish on. So when you listen to music now, listen out for that, the divergence and the convergence where stuff seems to move apart and then come back together. So the next technique is tapping. And the example I'm going to give is from Spiritual Healing by Death. So what I'm doing here is I'm tapping, I take my pick and I leave it as I would normally play and I'm using my middle finger to tap. So that way I don't have to change my pick around, I can just keep it where it is and just tap with my middle finger. So we're playing 12 on the A, 5 on the A, then 12, 7, 12, 8, so. Okay, so I'm tapping in between each note on my left hand. Then I'm coming over to 11, and I'm gonna tap 11 on the D in between each of these notes. So I'm gonna play four, six, seven, with a tap in between. Then onto the A, and do the same thing, four, six, seven, with a tap in between. And then onto the nine of the D, sorry, the 10 of the D, down to a three and a five on the D, with a tap in between. So slowly, and what you'll notice, I'm not tapping this note first of all, I'm just pushing off so that I get this sound from this note here. So I'm not going, I'm just pushing. So again, five, seven, eight, five, seven, eight, five, seven. With a tap in between, four, six, seven, with a tap in between. Four, six, seven on the A. Back onto the D, three, five. And again. Okay, so that's another technique, which is tapping, and that's used by loads of bands. Morbid Angel have used it. Obviously, Death use it, and other bands use it as well. The next technique is called drinking whiskey. So what you do, you open it, and you drink it. So the next one is two different types of power chords, regular root five power chords, and then five root five power chords. So we've got, I wanna play an obituary riff and I'll show you what I mean. So it's got regular power chords and then at the end we have like an inverted power chord. So we're muting, and then we're coming off mute. So we're muting that open string, and then I'm playing power chords on two, three. Mute the open string. And then three, four. Mute, four, five. <coughs> Excuse me, mute, 
five, and then we're gonna play this reverse power chord. So it's fret six of the bottom string, six of the A, and then eight of the D. So slowly, the whole thing. So that's two different types of power chords, regular power chords and inverted power chords. So next up we have pinch harmonics and here's an example. So that's Where the Slime Live by Morbid Angel. So we've got two on the A string, and then three two on the bottom string. One on the A. Three, uh, two, one, two on the bottom string. Same again, two on the A. Three, two, three on the bottom string. Then we're going to pinch a harmonic here on the fourth fret of the G string and do a little bend. So. I've just realised it's only down here. We don't come back up to the third on that second time around. Okay. So you can use pinch harmonics anywhere on the neck. Um, to achieve a pinch harmonic, you need to hit the string with your pick and your thumb at the same time. So I'm not sure if you can see that, but you need to get your pick and your thumb, instead of having your pick sticking out like this, you'd have your pick and your thumb in the same place so that you should hit the string with the pick and the thumb at the same time. So instead of picking like Okay, and that's used a lot. Lots of bands use that technique, so practice that one as well. So next up we have trills. So a trill is just a hammer and a pull off played fairly quickly. So you can use any finger. Okay, and practice it on all of your fingers. So, so I'll give you a couple of examples. So the first example is Carcass, Forensic Clinicism, the Sanguine Article, and that goes a bit like this. So we're playing muted bottom string and we're going to play 10, 9 with two chugs on the open bottom string in between. So and then and there's your little trill there. So that's 8, 7, 8, 7. And then open bottom string. Then we're going to do the same thing again, but instead of playing the open bottom string for the chugs at the end, we're going to come down to the sixth fret of the bottom string. So. Now, it might help you to use different fingers because you've got to move from there down to the six, so you could do down there, so. But practice it with different fingers and see how you get on. So here's the next riff. So that's Hammer Smashed Face by Cannibal Corpse. So we've got the 
that little bit. So it's not exactly trilling, because a trill would be more like... But it is the same technique, which is just a hammer and a pull off. So we're going to play on the A string, five, eight, sorry, seven, ten, seven, six, nine, six. Then we're going to play power chords on the bottom string, seven, six, to five of the A string. And then on the bottom string, five, four, three. So. Then we're going to do two, five, two, one, four, one, and that's all on the A string. And then power chords on the bottom string, three, two, two of the A, and then two, one, open on the bottom string. So. So that was Slaughter of the Soul by At The Gates and the technique here is playing on other strings and muting and hitting the bottom string in between. So we've always got that, that muted thing going on in between. So the actual riff is 7 of the A. So we've got that little bit going there. So seven of the eight, and then open bottom string, muted. Five to seven on the A. Then 10. Down to nine on the A, with two notes in between each thing. So slowly. So as you can hear, we've always got that double chug going on. Then we've got... So that's two on the A times three. Three on the A. And then three, two on the bottom string. So slowly that riff. Then repeat the first half of that. And then on the A, two, three, two, six. So let's do the whole riff slowly. And again at full speed. So this next technique was something that I saw Trey Azikoff do when I went to see Morbid Angel play live. And I'm really annoyed because I can't remember the song or the riff that he did it in, but this was the technique. So for this, you need a whammy bar. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna play a chord and then just tap the bar. just to depress it and that little rhythmic duh, dun, duh, duh. okay so again i can't remember the riff or the song that you did it in but that's the technique so we're just gonna tap that bar down to give it that little that little drop in pitch Next up we have octaves. Oh. 
So that is from the song God of Emptiness by Morbid Angel. So it starts with octave here on the 7th of the A string and 9 of the G. And that just slides back. And then we're going to play the two bottom strings. Octave on the 2nd fret of the bottom string up to 7. 6, 7. Open bottom strings and then up to 8 of the A string. So again. Again, I've made a tutorial for this whole song and I'll put a link to that in the description. And uh, yeah, that's octaves. And last but not least, tremolo picking. So tremolo picking is simply playing very fast, preferably in time. So four notes per beat or four picks per beat, for example. Um, that riff there was Override of the Overture by Dismember. I won't show you how to play that because I've got a whole tutorial on how to play that song, which I'll put a link in the description. So you should practice tremolo picking unmuted. <laughs> and muted as well. To improve your picking for both of those techniques.